Hey, I'm Mechanical Engineer, and this is my LED light switch. So like I said, this is an LED light switch, and I've been seeing products like this sold everywhere. Basically what it is, it's a self-contained battery-powered light that you can stick absolutely anywhere. If you're having difficulty running power somewhere or you want a light but you don't have any outlets, this is the perfect thing to use. You can just set it right where you want it and you're good to go. It's perfect for workshops, attics, crawl spaces, basements, even dark cabinets. I think it's a pretty cool idea. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can build your own and save a couple bucks while doing it. So to begin, I cut two identical pieces out of Lexan plastic that were both two and a half by four inches long. These pieces will serve as the top and bottom of the whole assembly. Next, I cut out a piece of three quarter inch wide Lexan and built a three sided box that could comfortably fit a nine volt with a little bit of extra room on each side, just like this. And for glue, I'm just using cheap super glue that you can pick up at any dollar store. And as you can see, I cut a small notch at the bottom of the box, just big enough to put a few small wires through. So now we can take our box and glue it to the top center of our base plate, just like that. Once the glue dries, I'll then take some metal repair duct tape and apply it to the base plate and sides of the battery holder, making sure to leave a small strip on each side untaped so we can glue onto it later. Next, we can cut two pieces of our LED strip that match the length of our base plate. We can then remove the tape from the underside of the LEDs and stick them in place. Now we can start the wiring process. So to begin, I took two wires like this one that were long enough to connect both LED strips. I then stripped them on both ends and also the middle, attaching a third leg to one of the wires. We'll now solder the wire with the third leg to the two positive terminals and the other wire to the two negative terminals, like that. Now I'll take a 9 volt connector that I got Radio Shack and slip the wires through the hole in the bottom of the box, pull them through to where just the connector piece itself is sticking out, and then solder the connector's negative wire to the LED's negative wire. And if you want, you can glue the wires to the base plate to help hold everything in place. Next, we can cut out two 3 quarter inch wide pieces and glue them onto the sides. After that, we'll take our face plate and we'll drill a hole in the center of it, about two thirds of the way down, just large enough to fit our switch. Once the hole's drilled, I'll put a strip of metal repair duct tape through the center of it, leaving about a half inch of exposed plastic on each side. We'll then push our switch through the hole, connect one positive wire to one lead of the switch and a second to the other, and then glue it down in place. Now I'll cut out three last pieces of plastic, one for the bottom and one for each side hole, and now I'll go ahead and glue them in place. And if you want, you can put a little bit of tape on the top and bottom like I did. I'll now take two command strips and stick them to the back of the light. These strips will allow us to mount the light basically anywhere, and if you ever want to move it, all you have to do is pull the tab on the bottom of the sticker, and it'll come off the wall without leaving a mark. And finally, we'll slip our battery into the battery holder, and snap on the connector. With that, your LED light switch is now complete. This is a pretty powerful light for its little size, and since it's running off a 9 volt, it can easily run constantly for at least two days. And as I'm sure you noticed, I didn't put a cover on the battery compartment, and that wasn't a design flaw, that was actually deliberate. This way, you don't have to take the light off the wall to swap batteries. You just unclip the old 9 volt and slip in a new one. I really like this little light. I'm going to be mounting it right next to my light switch in my room because my lamp's light bulb went out a few months ago and building this was easier than replacing it. And there you have it, my LED light switch. But hey, thank you so much for you guys watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And Lord willing, I'll see you next Friday. Thank you for watching. And please feel free to subscribe.